What's going on guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how to use pointers to find encrypted or tricky values in your games. Please note that this is a uh, pretty general uh, explanation and approach. So, you know, the uh, extra details are probably going to vary from game to game, but you could probably apply the basics and the same principle to any game. So I'm using Dead Trigger 2 for our example. I have managed to find the um, the infinite uh, the health value. Uh, my health is now hacked, and you can see I'm not taking any damage. I'm just confirming that it is really the correct value okay I would have been dead by now so it's definitely the correct value okay so the value is encrypted this is the value right here so it doesn't make any sense. It's not a uh, plain number like, uh, you know, so in some games your health is like 100 or 200. So in this case, it's like a long number and it's a negative number and it constantly changes, you know, like especially when you uh, exit the mission and go back in or if you restart the game, it always changes. It's impossible to just go and search for it and find it again. So then you may say, well, why don't you use group search? And yeah, normally I would use group search, like for example, for Dead Trigger 1, uh, this is Dead Trigger 2. For Dead Trigger 1, it worked. I was able to find, uh, to use a group search. But then the developers noticed that, uh, you know, obviously people are hacking it, so they tried to make it more uh, challenging, so they encrypted it. So now when I exit the game and go back in, I can't find any static values that don't change like fixed ones that are around and near my main value they are always changing so what do i do in this case well so this is what i'm going to show you in this video so the very first thing you want is to enable keyword okay i've already got it enabled and the reason is uh if i disable keyword you could see i lost the purple uh addresses which were the pointers so when you enable keyword in many games, you get, um, you can see this one is a purple address and that's a pointer. So you want to find something and explore. This is going to take some testing. So you want to like find one of those long press on it and go to the pointer. Now notice if I choose the first one, go to the pointer, this one right here, it gives me nothing, it's all zeros. So you wanna go to, you wanna go to the pointer, this one, the longer number, the second one, and now I'll get some values. Okay, this is, like I said, gonna take some testing. If you have two devices, it makes it a bit easier. Uh, and you don't need like two phones or two tablets. You can have like a, a phone or a tablet and then like an Android emulator on your PC. But it's not mandatory. You could do it without it, but it just makes it a bit easier. And the reason is if you uh, simultaneously see the values on both devices at the same time, then it's very likely or like a guarantee that when you exit the game and go back in, these values are going to be static. So in my case, I was able to find on two devices the following values. This, 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 and this. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, and we're going to save them. But let's pay attention to the closest one to our uh, green line right here. That was our pointer. So the closest one is this one, which is in float, it reads 6.0, and in keyword, it's 10862324, etc. So this is the one, okay, that's the closest one. And in a moment, you'll know why it's important to note that. Okay, so let's go ahead and save those. I'm going to use keyword. 
Okay, so we're going to select all of them except our main health value. And the reason we are not selecting our main health value because it's pretty much useless to us because, uh, you know, since it keeps changing and we're only interested in static values, we're only after the, the fixed values, which are these. These are going to lead us to our to this one, our main value, the, the health value. Okay, and then next we press this right here, choose add types and add group size, yes, and then just copy this and exit the game to test it out. Okay, here we go. Let's go and test it out. We paste our copied values and run our search. Uh, I've got this on nearby by accident. It needs to be in all memory. Okay, so we've got these results. If you recall, I told you that this value right here, remember this was a uh, six in float. Okay, this was the closest one to the pointer and I've got two of them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save those two and then I'm gonna test them one at a time. So this time, uh, the process is in reverse. Before we said go to the pointer, so this time we're going to long press on this right here because this was the one that was green a moment ago and this was the one that was closest to it, remember? So we're going to long press on this one and we're going to say pointer search this time. We got this, so we go to it and our value, our health value was in between two zeros in D word like that, two zeros, and it was a long number and a negative number. So chances are it's this one, but if it's not this one, we've got one more uh, value to test. So let's go ahead and test this guy right here. I'm gonna freeze it. And as you can see, it is the correct value. I'm not able to heal myself or add uh, more health because I froze it and even when I take damage now it's not gonna get reduced so I hope you found this helpful thank you for watching and have a nice day